unnecessary and it's ungodly because we're commanded to love our brothers and sisters, our flesh and blood brothers and sisters. Oh yes, they might have done us wrong, they might have said bad things about us, but you know, none of us are without fault. None of us are perfect. And it's so easy to blame the other person, but and there's jealousies, yes, and just a lot of ugly things that go on in our lives. And that's why we have to be closer to God, you know, because God's going to judge us for how we treated other people. And so, um, but you know, this whole, I mean, I really thought my mother would have lived longer, like maybe 85 or 86, and my daughter would have lived to see her mother. She would have remembered her at probably age four or five, but my daughter's only four, 15 months old. And even though I placed my daughter in my, my mother's lap when I went to visit her, and I took a picture of it, it's a beautiful little picture, my daughter will never remember that. She'll see it. She'll say, oh, that was my grandmother. So, if you can possibly take care of your mother as I did, do so. Don't put her in a care home. I took care of my mother the best I could until, like I said, she was taken from me. and I call it a kidnapping. It's basically what it was, a legal kidnapping by the state and we got so much uh, the government involved in our lives today you almost have to really fight them tooth uh, tooth and claw just stand up for what's right before God honor your mother and father I had to do that for my great-grandmother when she was dying you know I wanted her to live and die peacefully at home but they put her in a convalescent hospital and well that's where she died, and uh, but my great grandmother, I, I'm trusting she's in heaven. We all want to believe our loved ones are in heaven, don't we? But the fact is, we don't really know sometimes, uh, because the Bible talks in Matthew seven twenty one, not everyone that saith Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of God, but he that doeth the will of my Father in heaven. For many years, I remember my great grandmother. She she thought she was had no sin basically and I, and I told her I said grandma everybody sins but my great grandmother was looking for things like well I never killed anybody I never you know did this or that or, and she was always thinking because she didn't do these big sins in her mind that that must have made her acceptable to God but it's it's not that that makes us acceptable to God it's being born again, which is a work of God in the soul, when he gives us a new heart and soul. But having said that, my great-grandmother did a wonderful thing in raising me, rearing me, I should say, when um, her own daughter didn't. You know, My mother wasn't able to take care of me. You would think that her parents would have taken care of me, but they didn't. My great-grandmother reared me, and then later on, when I became too much through my rambunctiousness, uh, my aunt and uncle, who were school teachers, took me under their wings, and uh, that's where I got a better education. Not the greatest education, because it was in a public school system, and I'm, I'm really opposed to the public schools. But it was probably better than staying with my great-grandmother, because I, I, I goofed off and never did my homework there. So I uh, got to travel and do a lot of things with my aunt and uncle. And I learned how to water ski, snow ski. We traveled. It was a good experience for me, and um, I won't get into my life story, but there's been transitions after I left my aunt and uncle, and I'll talk about that another time. I may have already shared that in a previous video. Anyway, uh, honor your mother and father. Let me leave you with that, that your life may be long upon this land. That's a promise that God gave a long time ago. and. Uh, Lord willing, the Lord will give me a long life. There's no certainty of it, but if I can live to be 85 or 90 or 95 or 100, that, that'd be a good thing. And, uh, and I hope I can serve the Lord all those years faithfully and, and rearing my, my daughter. And if the Lord gives me more children, that'd be a wonderful thing also. 
All right, well, thank you for letting me share this with you. And, and if you have any comments or anything, please share them with me. Death is an enemy. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. As the late Dr. Francis Schaeffer said, death is an enemy. It's not normal. It's not the way God designed things. Uh, sin brought death. For by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. So death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. That's found in Romans 5.12, I believe. Um, but the gift of God is eternal life. That's the wonderful thing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So to be in Christ is to have eternal life and to experience the resurrection. First in our, in our soul, when we're born again, and secondly, when, when our body, which goes back into the ground at death, will be resurrected into a glorious body, incorruptible, and we have an inheritance that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for those who love the Lord Jesus Christ and who love his appearing. They'll be given a crown of life. You will be given a crown of life. That's that's something to rejoice in, you know. And, and if you're feeling down or, or depressed, don't try checking out of this world before the Lord calls you. You know, suicide is a sin itself. It's wrong. You're called sometimes to suffer, you know. Not everybody has an easy life. My life hasn't been easy. And maybe your life hasn't been easy. I wasn't brought up on silk sheets and silver spoons. I wasn't brought up in a, in a wealthy family. Um, but I've been given a measure of wealth, you know. But the important thing is to remember what Paul said. Having food and clothing to therewith be content. You know. And like Job said. Naked came I into this world, and naked I shall leave. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so, let's remember that this life is transient. It's temporal. We're only here a short while. Whether we die early in life, or whether we live to a ripe old age. It's relatively unimportant. God is the one that we must live our life for. And so, and live it for His glory. Whatsoever you do, whether you eat or drink, do all to the glory of God, said Paul, Apostle Paul. All right, well, the Lord richly bless you until we meet again. Thank you.